Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Kids Class. We hope that you're excited to be here. We're so excited to see you. And you know what? I'm pretty sure God is excited to see you here this morning, too. We're going to get ready to worship, so go ahead and get on your feet. I want to see you guys dancing, okay? You too, teachers. We're going to be talking about prayer these next couple of weeks. Have you ever prayed to God? If not, it's okay. We're going to talk about when to pray and how to pray. So make sure you're listening and get ready to dance and worship Jesus this morning. Trust in the Lord with all your heart And lean not on your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He will direct your path Trust in the Lord with all your heart And lean not on your own understanding In all your ways acknowledge Him And He will direct your path book of wisdom proverbs chapter 3 sing together and remember come and sing with me trust the lord trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all of my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you, Lord, know it completely. You hem me in behind and before and you lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me too lofty for me to attain. Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, 
you are there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. If I say, surely the darkness will hide me and the light become night around me, even the darkness will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day. For darkness is as light to you. For you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed body. All the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. How precious to me are your thoughts, God. How vast is the sum of them. Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of sand. When I awake, I am still with you. Search me, O oh God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Search me, oh God, and know my thoughts. Search me, oh God, and know my thoughts. Search me, oh God, and know my thoughts. Search me, oh God, my God, search me. Hey, Abs. Hey. How's it going? Pretty good. What do you have today? Goldfish. I'm so excited to eat. Yeah, I know. Wait, wait, wait. We should pray. Okay. Okay. God, just thank you, Lord, for... Why are we praying for the food? For... Is she praying for food? Really That's really weird. That. We I've never done this before. Amen. Amen. Hey, um, I just had a quick question. Why did we pray for we started eating our lunch? Oh, yeah. I pray before I eat because I want to say thank you to God for all the stuff he's given me. Like the shirt on your back, God gave you that. This avocado, he made all of these things yeah. and I want to say thank you to him. Wow, thanks. I really never thought of it that way. We really should be more grateful about everything that we have and just, you know, just pray more to God, you know? Yeah, and say thank you. Yeah. guys so i want to encourage you to take time to thank god for all that he's done for you and all the things that you have just like i was talking to osvaldo about we thank god for our food but also you know your toys what about your parents 
If you have a sibling, we should be grateful to God that we have those things in our life. So you should take time today to pray and to talk to God and tell him all the things you're grateful for. God loves when we say thank you the same way our parents do. So thanks God for this goldfish. He governs them His word is not passive It is not dead It's living And active The Lord is a stronghold For those oppressed Upon His shoulder They lay their head Their cries of affliction He won't forget He rises And answers in the Lord, rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in Him. I will rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in the Lord, rejoice in Him. And I'll raise my voice and bless Him. story of Devin praying with Oswaldo over their food? That's a really good reminder for us to remember to pray to God for everything, to thank Him for all He's done. That reminds me of a verse from the Bible, Philippians 4, 6. It says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need 
and thank him for all he's done. Say it again with me. Philippians 4, 6. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all he's done. Well, guys, I hope you had a good day and we'll see you again next week. Remember to thank God for what he's done. Thank him for your parents. And remember to tell him the things that you need and that you're thankful for. Bye.